you know how to solve such in equations solve it for me here you can see 11x minus 5 is greater than 7x plus 3 and x that is our variable belongs to real numbers so when you solve this what do you get 11x bring it bring both the variables to one side that is 11x minus 7x you get 4x and minus 5 taken towards that side gives us 5 plus 3 that is 8 and x belongs to real numbers so this can be written as 4x is greater than 8 dividing it by dividing both the sides by 4 you get x is greater than 2 so this is how you solve such an equations now what if i put this in a set and name this set as a right well i cannot put it like this if i want to write it in a set builder form i need to write x such that 11x minus 5 is greater than 7x plus 3 and x belongs to r this is how we write it in set builder form now now if i ask you to solve this in equation will your answer change well no again you will just bring down this part and solve it you will again get x is greater than 2 because the answer will be same it is just a method of representation so for this in equation how will you write the solution set will you write it like this well no when the question is in a set builder form you need to write the solution set also in a set builder form so how you will you write it you will write it as the solution set for a is x such that x is greater than 2 and x belongs to real numbers but the same thing is just represented in a set builder form here again i'm having an inequation in the form of b is equal to x such that 18x minus 49 is greater than equal to 15 plus 2x and x belongs to r you can see that this inequation is written in a set builder form so uh, if i ask you to solve this will you be able to solve it do it yourself well we'll just copy this inequation separately and solve 18x minus 49 is greater than equal to 15 plus 2x solve this what will i do i'll bring both the x's to one side and the numerical paths to one side so for that i need to subtract both sides by 2x so that this side plus 2x minus 2x becomes 0 and here we'll get 18x minus 2x so that step i'm skipping and i'm just writing minus 2x this side so 18x minus 49 minus 2x is greater than equal to 15 here plus 2x and minus 2x have cancelled and give us 0 now i need to take this minus 49 that side so that i have 18x minus 2x only in this side the variable parts so 18x minus 49 plus 49 this side gets cancelled and this side i'm having 15 plus 49 i have added plus 49 or you can say I've added 49 to both sides of this inequation. Let's solve this. 18x minus 2x is 16x is greater than or equal to 15 plus 49. What do you get? 64. Now you have to isolate x and bring the coefficient to 1. So I have to divide both sides by which number? 16. What do you get? x because 16 16 gets cancelled is greater than equal to which number 16 into 4 is 64 so 64 divided by 16 is 4 so i am left with the solution as x is greater than equal to 4 but can i write this solution like this only no the question is in the form of set builder so you will write the solution set also in the form of set builder you will write this as x such that x is greater than or equal to 4 and x belongs to real numbers so the solution set for set b is x such that x is greater than or equal to 4 and x belongs to real numbers so what have we done we have taken out solutions for a and b both now you know how to plot them on a number line so let's do it here first we'll do for a your a x is greater than 2 and x belongs to real numbers so first locate 2 on your number line 
Now we have made an empty circle here. Will I fill this circle? No, because there is no equal to sign here. So do not fill this empty circle because there is no equal to sign. We know that x is greater than 2. Now, x is greater than 2 and x belongs to real numbers. So this can go on till infinity. So shade this part. Correct? Now this we are shading because x belongs to real numbers. If it would be integers or natural numbers or numbers such as that, we would just put dots on these numbers. Similarly, plot this for b. Here x is greater than or equal to 4 and x belongs to real numbers. Locate 4 on your number line. I have made an empty circle. Will it remain an empty circle? Look at the sign equal to sign is also given. So x can be greater than 4 or equal to 4 also. So fill this circle and shade the other part. So we have plotted both these solutions on number lines. Now in sets, you know, there is something called intersection of two sets. What is intersection of two sets? Elements which belong to both the sets. So here if A is described as this set and B is described as this set, can you find A intersection B for me? Here you know, intersection means elements common to both the sets. So just by looking at this in equation, and x belongs to real numbers, you cannot exactly define what are the elements. You can say that it is 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 2 and many numbers like that. And here also you can say the same thing. But what are about those elements which are common to both? Well, you can see that from the number line. Your number line will help you to see that. Look at A intersection B. So first of look at A and look at B. You need to find out the elements or you can say you need to find out those numbers which are common to both. Which numbers do you think are common to both just by looking at these lines? Just look at the, like look at some random numbers. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. 3 and 2 are not common in both. And the numbers in between these, they are also common in both. So we can say that A intersection B can also be plotted on the number line as only this part. So A intersection B can be plotted. So A intersection B is this part. We have colored this empty circle or you can say we have filled this empty circle because X is greater than or equal to 4 is present in both the sets. Now, set A was x such that x is greater than 2, right? What about A complement? Well, if you know what are sets, you know what is complement of a set? Complement of a set means all those elements which is not in that set. For example, if we take the set of all vowels of English alphabet, what are they? A, E, I, O and U and set A is A, E and I. What will be the complement of this set? It will be the remaining vowels which are not in this set. It will be O and So you know what are complement of a set. So here if this is set A that is starting from greater than 2 and going on till infinity. What will be the complement of this set just by looking at the number line? Tell me. It will be this circle plus this part. Well, it is simple. If this is A and A complement is all that numbers which is not in A, it will be this part. 
So you can say that A complement is X is less than or equal to 2. Just by looking at the number line, we have found out that X is equal to 2 also. Why? Because A is not equal to 2. A is greater than 2. It is mentioned that X is greater than 2. It is not equal to 2. So the complement of this set will be X is equal to 2 or less than 2. Similarly, we can do this for B. Can you tell me what will be B complement after plotting this? Find it out. Well, if B is X such that X is greater than or equal to 4. You can see we have a filled circle which shows equal to 4 and greater than 4. Then what will be B complement? Will it be equal to 4? No, because equal to 4 is already present in set B. So B complement will not have equal to 4. It, it will have what? Less than 4. So this part. Like this. So this shows me that B complement is what? X such that X is less than 4. See, what we have got is this. And X belongs to real numbers. So this is how we find out complements of inequations using number lines when they are arranged in sets. Now you have found out the complement of set A and the complement of set B using these number lines. Now do you know what a union of sets? Well, union of sets is writing the elements present in one set or present in the other set. For example, if set, if set A is 1, 2 and 3 and set B is 4, 5 and 6, then what is A union B? Writing union of two sets means writing the, all the elements present in both the sets. So we start with A. 1, 2, 3 and then we write the set of or you can say we can write the elements of B also. So this is union of two sets. So here we are having one set as A complement and the other as B complement. So if I ask you what is the union of these two sets that is A complement union B complement. What do you have to do? You have to unite both these. You have to write the elements present in A complement as well as write the elements in present in B complement. So look at the number lines and tell me what will be the union of these two sets. Well, union means writing the elements of this as well as writing the elements of this but not repeating the elements. We always write distinct elements whenever we write union of two sets. So here you can see set A that is set complement A represents this part and complement B that is B complement represents this. So when we unite these two, what will you get? You will get this extra because from here till here is present in both and when we unite both of these, we will get this extra also. So we can say that A complement union B complement is can be written as X such that X is less than 4. Why are we writing this as A, U, A complement union B complement? Because whenever we unite these two sets, the whole thing can be represented with this number line, where x such that x is less than 4. If you add these two up, or you can say if you unite these two and write it together, you will get this. This is how we do union of two sets. So here also, uniting two linear inequations gives us this answer. So this is how you unite two sets which are denoted by linear inequations.